Okay, so let's do a little bit with this um, cross product. Um, something that looks a little, um, a little more real than what we've been doing so far. Um, <clears throat> so let's look at a, a parallelepiped, a parallelepiped, right? Um, and we'll define it by three ed edges. Okay, so that basically will make them vectors um, that radiate out from the origin um, and then add them up and do all the wonderful things that, um, you know, we do with these sorts of things. So let's say we've got um, A is one centimeter in the X direction and four centimeters in the Y direction and four centimeters in the Z direction. That's looking good to me. Um, B with six centimeters in the X direction and oh, four centimeters in the Y direction and maybe three centimeters in the Z direction. And C, one more sort of random um, line thing. One cent minus one centimeter in the X direction. So, so rather than towards us away, um, then plus nine centimeters in the Y direction and plus two centimeters in the Z direction. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and plot that and, sh and show sort of what I mean by having a parallel piped running around um, doing its dastardly things because you know, that's what parallel pipeds do. People are scared of parallel pipeheads. They've always been scared of them. Um, because obviously they're so evil. Um, so let's go ahead and draw these um, draw these things uh, using colors, because we love colors. Uh, let's do A first, right? So A is one centimeter in the X direction there, right? Or there, there, okay? And four centimeters in the Y direction, two, three, four, right? And then, um, want to go up four more centimeters, one, two, three, four. So this is our um, first edge, and this is sort of our defining vector, right, A. Uh, B is six centimeters in the X direction, so one, two, three, four, five, six, way over here. Um, then four centimeters in the Y direction as well, so way over here. Then we go up um, three centimeters this time. So one, two, three, right there. So um, in sort of this two-dimensional representation, this looks kind of short. It's actually f fairly long. It's longer than the other one. Um, and, uh, and so this face is actually fairly large. It just looks not so large. Um, <clears throat> Then let's finish this off with C. Let's take C from this spot, right? So we're here. We want to go um, X one de one back, right? And then we want to go nine additional centimeters in this direction. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, um, and. Um, so we get over here, and then we go up. Oh, actually, we should have been going one here and nine here. Oh, that's the right number. I just put them on. Um, and then up an additional two. One, two. So we move out that way for that guy. Okay, so those are, and that's C. And so that's how we're sort of um, thinking about these three lines. 
Um, so on top of that, we you know might want to finish off what's actually going on here. So um, we do some parallel sort of transport stuff, right? So this is the to this is the complete um, face here. We've got a face of our par parallelopiped. Then we come out this way and we do a parallel transport sort of thing over here. And we do our parallel transport thing over here and we have a parallel thing here. So that's sort of a front. So you see we have three faces on this on this thing. We have this one one, our face AB face, our um, AC face, and our BC face, or CA face. So this is BC, this is CA. Okay, so, so this is CA, because one edge is C and one edge is A. This is AB, and this is AC, no, BC. So those are our um, three different faces um, that we're going to want to look at in this problem. And this is sort of a three-dimensional thing, so there's some, there's some stuff going on in back. Ain't that beautiful? That is beautiful. I know you love it. This is this is what you live for. All right. So, what do we want to find? Um, well, ah, some fun things would be well fun to find. Like, well, where, what is this farthest point? So this is our origin. That's one edge. What is that farthest point? That doesn't have anything at all to do with cross products, okay? I, I just want to know where it is. Um, and another thing that doesn't have anything to do with cross products, but is fun to look at, is the length of the um, diagonals. L1 and L2, I think. You know, you have from here to here, which is exactly the same as from here to here. And then you have um, this other one that's maybe like from um, here to here. So, so we've got these two um, different these two different diagonals. And it's kind of interesting to play around with that, just for fun. Um, then we'll do the um, cross producty things. Oh, we'll find the directed areas. So these are going to be the area and the, um, and sort of the direction, a normal direction, the direction out of the AB, the BC, and the CA face. So You'd have A times the normal direction, which is equal to A with a little hat on it. It's a vector A. Um, so in that case, you're going to have something pointed out this way, right, like that. Um, and, but its, but it's um, value is going to be the value of the area of this face, of this AB face, for example. So this guy's actually... Uh, so this guy's going that way, so this guy's actually pointing backwards a little bit. This guy's going to be pointing at you. Okay, so those are the things we can do. And, you know, we've been playing with these vectors for a while now. Uh, been really good at them. I know you're getting great at them. So let's um, have a little practice, right? Um, that farthest point P, well that's just a plus C plus B, or A plus B plus C, right? So, let's just do that, A plus B plus C. We've been doing that sort of stuff for a while, right? So we should be ha we should have no problem um, just adding them up. It, that's one of our base skills now, right? Think of some stuff, do it, have fun. So I want you to see this skill, kind of 
hopefully um, give you an idea of why why you're doing these things and what good they are. So one centimeter plus six centimeters is seven centimeters minus one centimeter is back to six centimeters. So we're at six centimeters in the x hat direction plus um, four plus four is eight plus nine is seventeen centimeters in the y hat direction and four plus three is um, seven plus two is nine so plus nine centimeters in the z hat direction um, so that's z hat I know you can't see it let's see what happens all right there we go pretty good um all right, so so that's that. Uh, what do we do for the um, for the diagonals? Well, we could have this A B C diagonal, right? A B C. Um, so let's call that L A B C. That's equal to um, let's see uh, the square root. It's just the magnitude of this thing. So square root of thirty six plus um, centimeters squared plus 289 centimeters squared plus 81 centimeters squared um, and we go through that whole entire thing and we get something that I don't think is reducible. It might be, but it's the square root of 406 centimeters. No, uh, well, uh, I mean these are the sort of things that we do. We get numbers, and sometimes we know what those numbers mean, sometimes we don't. And to be honest, I'm not really good at 406. That's a little bit over um, 20, um, like very minorly over 20. So let's see what, what we end up with. That's about 20.15 centimeters, something like that. Okay, so let's say this other guy, so like from here to here, we said, right? From here to here. So that's C, um, B, A, okay? So the C, B, A, which is, um, just, it just looks like it's anti-cyclic, right? Um, so we go, we go C, we go minus B, Right? I think that's the way it is. Um, or is that plus B? Uh, okay, C, um, B, A. So I think this. <clears throat> so, so let's do this. It's C, B, A. A is going the wrong direction. All right, that's fine. Um, so in that case, we're going to take the magnitude of um, a or minus a plus b plus c, uh, which is equal to um, the magnitude of minus one um, plus six minus one comma minus four plus four four plus nine comma minus four plus three plus two centimeters okay um, which is equal to the magnitude of uh, four x hat plus nine y hat plus one z hat um, centimeters uh, which is equal to the square root of 16 square centimeters plus 81 square centimeters plus 1 square centimeter. So that's uh, 97, 98. So we have the square root of 98 centimeters this time. Um, And so uh, that's equal to about nine point 
900 centimeters. So one's um, significantly longer than the other, which uh, you know I think you can see that that, that should be uh, just by looking at the picture. So everything's going pretty good now. Um, so what do we want to do when we come back, right? Because I'm going to take a little break. Uh, I think possibly what we're going to do is we're going to find those directed areas. Oh, and then D, uh, the volume of the pod parallel pipette. Okay, see you then. Okay, so let's do these directed areas. Uh, that was a quick, sw quick switch up, wasn't it? Maybe I should have been nicer. Um, but I wasn't. So let's just um, find these uh, directed areas. So we want this area for AB, right? Um, and like I said, that's just going to be A cross B. So that's the area of that parallel pipette, uh, or parallel parallelogram. It's the area of the parallelogram that makes up the face of the parallel pipette. Got it. All right, so we've got an A, we've got a B, and we're going to do the cross product of them. So that is IJK, um, 1, 4, 4, and B is 6, 4, 3, and that's all square centimeters. All right. Um, so I don't see any nice um, handy things to take off. So we have 1 centimeter squared up here. I had... Um, 4 times 3, 4 times 4, so we have 12 um, centimeters, well, we have 12, so we're going centimeters we don't need, um, minus 16, um, plus J is 4 times 6, minus 1 times 3, uh, 4 times 6, we're going to call that 24 this week, and three is what we want to take out of it. And then for K, we have the four times six again, um, but that's on the back on the back side, so that's minus 24. And on the front side, we have one times four, so that's four. Uh, this is looking really familiar to me. So um, that means oh, I was using X Y Z. I'm sorry. Um, that means that we have minus 4. Um, I's and X's are the same, so minus 4 centimeters squared in the X hat direction, plus 21 centimeters squared in the Y hat direction, plus, because this is going to be a minus, and that's going to be 20 centimeters squared in the Z hat direction. Okay. Mm, can I zoom out a little? Oh, that's a little better. There we go. All right. So A on B cross A B C, the area of B C. So that's a directed area right there. Um, we could do things to make it uh, more area, -y, um, so that we'd have an area. We'd use that area times the normal vector thing. Uh, that's just time, so let's not use it. So I, J, K, or X, Y, Z, whichever you prefer. Let's do X, Y, Z. Um, B is 6, 4, 3 still, times 1 square centimeter, each one, and then C is minus 1, 9, 2. So we have our 1 centimeter squared here. Um, then for our x hat direction, we have 6 minus 27. Our j hat direction, is it, yeah, 6 minus 27, all right. Our j hat direction is minus 3 minus 12. Our k hat direction is 6 times 3 is 54, um, minus minus 4, which is plus 4, uh, which is equal to, um, let's see, 
Let's just be sure about this. That's eight. Um, eight is uh, minus 19 square centimeters. Um, minus 15 square centimeters. And um, plus 58 square centimeters. Okay. Um, okay, I'm reasonably happy with that. And then we have our final one ACA which is A cross C, which is, um, maybe it's C cross A. Ooh, 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 ooh. So let's do C cross A. They differ by a sign. So X, Y, Z, one square centimeter for units. Um, C is minus one, nine, two. A is one four four, so that's equal to one square centimeter times the gang. Okay, so x hat is um, thirty six minus eight um, plus y hat, and y hat has two um, plus four plus z hat. And z hat is uh, minus four minus nine. Okay, we're good with all those. Um, Thirty six minus eight is twenty eight square centimeters. Um, two plus four is six square centimeters, and we have minus thirteen square centimeters. Um, that seems completely reasonable to the old man, so uh, let's be happy with that, right? Um, and not let it go to our heads, all right? All right, so that's what we have for our directed areas. Um, very useful concept, the directed area. You're going to use it a lot in um, electricity and magnetism, for example. Um, I suspect we'll be talking about it more in a week or two. Um, at least I hope we are. Um, I'll see what they actually have in the um, in the book as far as uh, problems. I'll bring it back to the. I'll, we should be able to use it somewhere in the um, in a you know multivariate integration sort of place um, vector integration. So. I'll make sure I give an example for some of the more interesting um, things with the directed area. Uh, the volume, the volume is extremely complicated. It's the dot product of A with the cross product of B and C. So A is one centimeter, four centimeters, and four centimeters. And um, that dot product of uh, cross product, well, we've already done it. B cross C, so we've got minus 19 centimeters, minus 15 centimeters, uh, plus 58 centimeters. Okay, um, so that's 1 times minus 19, which is minus 19 centimeters, 4 times minus 15, which is minus 60 centimeters cubed, excuse me, these are squares. And then we have 4 times 58 is 232. Uh, centimeters squared. Um, so 232 minus 60 is like, uh, two, well, 232 minus 80 is like 252. Add 1 because we need to 252, that's equal to 2 or 153 um, centimeters cubed. And so that's the area. So we can use this to find the area. Uh, that's going to show up in crystallography. For example, you get the area of a unit cell that way. Um, I've seen it at least one other place, but my brain doesn't recognize it right now. So um, I hope you found this entertaining and wonderful and lovely. 
and that you will uh, be happy enough that you'll come and see this stuff for the next section. All right. Uh, very nice talking to you. See you soon.